Hello, how are you doing? Welcome back to some more PGA Tour 2023 in another part of our playthrough on Career Mode. Today, uh, we are going to try and make the cut for once. So that would be rather lovely, but uh, we are in a decent place in terms of our um, stats. And I want to uh, upgrade some stats. I have been uh, checking out some some of the playthroughs just to to see what what we can do really um and there are lots of different uh different ways i can you can improve in this game and certainly one of those is by having a finesse shot so i am very very tempted to to get ourselves a um a bronze finesse shot there uh that should help us out a little bit um, and I'm also going to increase our, uh, yeah, we need, what do we need? So we need, oh damn, we could have, we could add four there. That's annoying. Retrain. Okay. Yeah, let's, uh, let's refund that. That's fine. Um, and we'll go for this instead, which gives us the knockdown finesse and some other shots as well, which will really help us as we push forward. It only cost us a few coins as well, so that's absolutely fine. I'm just trying to, to get into a, a good place with our approach game because that's where we are really, really struggling at the moment. Um, so I think a finesse shot is definitely going to be the way that we, we want to go. Um we you know we can get the gold one soon but we got a knockdown a full swing shot a design to fly lower than approach mainly used to minimize the impact of wind or to avoid spinning back too much uh the finesse is a versatile shot that can target a wider variety of distances than approach but has less spin and more roll so yeah that's where we're going for with this right uh let's get ourselves into the next round of career mode and uh, we are at uh, the Riviera Country Club for the California Classic. Let's get ourselves into the action. Here we go. And fingers crossed we can make the cut this time. I feel like we've been very unlucky so far, particularly with our AI player, but uh, here we go. Let's see how we get on. The Ferry Tour are proud to showcase the finest young golfers from around the globe. From the home of three major championships, Riviera Country Club, it's live opening round coverage of the California Classic. What might we have in store for us over the course of these next four days? We've got big names, we've got dark horses, we've got it all as we look at the leaderboard on this Thursday. A number of folks in contention, including our leader, So let's get out to the course already deep into the round as we head to the tee on the par 4 15th. Well, we're playing the final four here, which is interesting. Uh, we're going to start off with a crack and drive, hopefully. And we're one under at the moment. But thank you very much for the support on the series so far. I know you guys are really enjoying it, so do keep the keep the likes Beautiful coming, keep the comments coming. I'm uh, really enjoying reading about your career modes as well. And let's see how we get on with this one. We might uh, just drop it back a couple of clubs here. Do we try our fin? Oh, we can't do a finesse shot. That's okay. Let's see how we get on. It's going very right. But it's on the green. Well, not as close to the pin as you'd like, but when you find greens in regulation on a regular basis, you're going to have a chance. Okay, here we go. That's not far away. Ooh. Yeah, that's a pretty that was good close. Putt. Just a little bit off the mark. Here we go for par then on the 15th. 
Okay, a solid par here at the 15th, and he'll remain at one under par. On now to the 16th at 166 yards. It's the smallest green on the course, but the difficulties don't end there. It's also surrounded by three deep and large bunkers. Plus, that tree left of the tee box can get you if you're not careful. Whoops. And I am. Pitch this in here. It's a tricky shot. Let's hit the tree. Unbelievable. Oh well. Now from the bunker. Yeah, just a little splash out on this par three. Well, this could be very, very tricky indeed. Get down! Get down! Mm, it's going to be bogey at best oh, here. That one got it out, but it is now in the rough. Let's, let's go for a, a high flop then. Pretty good. So just that a ball key. The worst shot in the world, but obviously could have been better. Certainly. Definitely hoping to try and get inside three feet, but uh, it's a little outside there. Yeah, that's well done, though. It is for bogey here at the par three. And he's going to fall out of red figures back down to even par. So 20 second at the moment. Back up toward the clubhouse as we come to the 590 yard par 517. Getting on here into is no sure thing, especially given all the bunkers that pop up along the way. Okay, here we go then, par five at, coming up. Just gotta try and avoid that tree. Nice. This one tugged just a bit, and the wind gonna push it a little. Yeah, that's a nice swing, and the result is gonna be a tee shot that is set up just fine. Still well over 300 yards to the flag, so getting this to a good number, the key here for his second. Just need to be careful here. Add a little bit of draw to it. This looks good. Yeah, very nice. Well, just a good solid shot right there with that three wood, Frank. That's an aggressive layup, really, trying to force that three wood down and get it as close as possible to the green. That's two good shots if you can't reach the par five. See if we can pitch this on. It's going to go a little right here. That's okay. Let's bring in Nota Begay the third for a look at Birdie. And this is when you'd expect to make more often than not. Not too much undulation, maybe just a slight move to the right. Just gonna sneak on by. Par putt. Not Put bad. And we'll settle for that. And he'll stay at Let's see if we can bar. get a birdie to finish off here. That would be rather nice. Such a unique closing hole. The 18th here at Riviera at 475 yards. You're asked to hit your tee shot onto a 30-foot rise. It features hillside to the left and gully to the right. From there, it is a tough approach into the amphitheater green. OK, 
Okay, here we go. That one looking a little right. That's okay. From the fairway, we check in with Noda. Tough not to get distracted with the majestic amphitheater setting here at the 18th at Riviera, but be mindful, you must land the ball left of the hole to get it close. Oh dear, what's happened there? Obviously just didn't get the tempo right. Well, had a good look at the green, but couldn't cash it in. In the rough now, wondering what might have been. Ooh, no. <laughs> it was just past the hole. A difficult putt coming now. This is an 11 foot putt. Nope. Oh, uh, what a shame. It could be a double to finish off here. Shouldn't be, though. Should be pretty straight. And it is this time. Okay, a shake of the what a shame. That what a shame. That off. puts us under pressure we'll now for the next par. round. For the golfer, we had and for once, it was my fault rather no than the AI. It, Frank. Just not a real good day out there. It could be a short week, Rich. Um, we can complain about the conditions and that, but look at the leaderboard. Uh, the rest of the field, they didn't have a problem. So that's it for us. For Frank, Noda, Iona, and our entire crew, Rich Lerner saying... Thanks for joining us. We'll see you next time on EA Sports PGA Tour. Okay. Let's get going for round two, and hopefully our AI has done us a decent job. Yep, looks like uh, we're actually two under for the round, so we are one under overall, which is three above the cut line let's just make EA the weekend Sports and the corn ferry tour are proud to feature some of the best young talent in the world of golf from pacific palisades california and historic riviera country club live second round coverage of the california classic but if we see more of what we witnessed yesterday, we're in for a heck of a battle these next three days as we show you the current leaderboard here on this Friday. A lot of folks fighting for the title, including our leader. So out to the action we go as we catch up with our golfer on the tee at the par 4 13th. Okay, right, so we're on the... 13th hole here got a bit of a headwind or tailwind behind us just gonna draw it slightly to help it's on its way this looks okay if it kicks a little left mm, pity ah too strong for this hole eh ran out of fairway and into the rough big hit though Walking the course today, let's bring in Nota Begay the third. 151 yards to the hole. Ball sitting up very nicely in the rough. Oh, this needs to sit. Oh, it's okay. It's on the fringe. Tough putt, though. Add a little bit more welly to it. No. Always right. It's a kick in uh, birdie though. At par though. And as long as we par them, okay, so we should be here for the weekend. 13. And he'll remain in red figures at 100.
Onward now to the 14th at par three at 192 yards. Flanked by bunkers, this green is wider than it is deep, making it important to get one up in the air and stop it quickly. Okay, a tough little par three here. I don't know where my finesse shots are. See if we can draw this in here. I think we probably want it there, don't we? Probably decent. I draw here. Sit down. What a shame. Again. Oh, he flushed that one, and that just got up in the breeze and took off on him. That's pretty good, though. Looks like another power putt. And this will be a five-foot putt here. Nice. Okay, good putt. And a par Ooh. here at 14. And he'll remain right where he is. Next up, the par 4 15th at 487 yards. It's another one that favors someone who can move the ball left to right off the tee. If you've got enough to work it over that fairway bunker right, it should leave you with an open look to a fairly accessible green. Okay, here we are then. Obviously going to have to fade this one. But this is tricky. Uh, bit of an underswing there, but... Just what you want at this point in the round. You're trying to find a rhythm, hit fairways, hit the middle of the club face. That's, That's what good. they did. It's right just there. Just held up. He needs to be mindful of the breeze here as he sets for a second. Yeah, he's going to just drop it back a couple of clubs here. This looks decent if it sits. It's run on a little bit, but that'll do. And a good iron shot, just not quite as close as what we'd all want to finish, but still. Iona's down there, she's had a good look. This for birdie. Well, they often say it's the toughest putt in golf. There's not a lot to it. I think you can take dead aim. Mm, close. Wasn't, Couldn't ask for much more on that putt. Wasn't breaking a lot there, was it? Another tap in, par though. It's in for par. Three to go. He'll stay right where he is. How many we got to play in? The 16th hole at Riviera, the final par three of the round. It's a tough one at 166 yards. Hit it anywhere on the putting surface, you'll likely well, we're playing be just the last fine. three here. Miss, and you're almost certain to be in one of the four bunkers framing the entirety of the green. I like the looks of this one. It's pretty good. That'll do nicely. Very that nice. One didn't wind up smack dab in the middle of the green. A little bit of break to the right here. Oh! No. Deary me. Just over reading them, aren't we, today? That's okay. Okay, that'll be a par here at 16. But at least we improved on yesterday. Right where he is. Next up, the longest hole on the course at 590 yards, the par 5 17. You play slightly uphill the entire way. Par 5 coming up. Toward the clubhouse and features bunkers on we'll either side of the turn. fairway. Uh, 
right in the middle of the fairway. Gives the us five, the best possible long enough. So chance. Just five out of his reach. Now, from better than 300 yards out, a second to the par five. Well, this needs to slow down. And that's done. That's okay. Now his third, staring right at the green. I think we pitched it last time, didn't we? Trying to work out what's going to be the the best player here. Might be a, a little, little fade here. It needs to kick on, and it just about has done. Tough putt though. Okay, on the putting surface, but work to do from there. Birdie putt coming up, and we go to Iona Steven. And it's so important to get this one rolling up the slope with just the slightest movement from left to right. It's not far away, you know. Oh, oh dearie well, me, well, another well, burnt well, edge there. Spot on, but just a fraction offline, and that would have gone in. But okay, another par, and uh, we should be here for the and weekend now, right which is, is good. Here's a tough one to finish out our day at Riviera, the famous 475-yard par 418. This one cut right up against the side of the hill on the left. You'll need to keep something in the fairway here to have a good approach into that renowned 18th green. Using a little bit of fade to just make sure that stays in that fairway. Yeah, nothing a fault there. Good balance, good follows for pretty decent good start to this hole. Gotta think this an extra half club or more as he sets for a second into the wind. Sit down, sit, sit. No. Yeah, and just not. It on the green. Not good. It was never going to stop. No, no chance. But it's going to be another par. And as I say, that should be enough to make it to the weekend. Yeah, so there it good. is, a solid is round, two under 18. overall, one under for the tournament, 22nd second place, score of 69. and let's see and how so everybody else gets on. For Frankie, it is on to the weekend, who knows, if you get out early on Saturday, try and post a number, see what happens. Exactly, there's such a fine line, Rich, between playing well and sort of, not struggling, but just mediocre. Putt goes in here or there. Uh, that could easily change tomorrow. Make a couple of birdies early, pop a long one in, and all of a sudden you're off and running. So that'll do it for my partner here in the tower, Frank Nabilo. For Nota Begay, Iona Steven, and all our crew, Rich Lerner saying, we'll see you next time on EA Sports PGA. Right, let's get going then. Uh, into the weekend for the first time in a little while. And... Um, Looking forward to actually playing a part in it. So here we go then. Round three. And where's our EA AI Sports got us? And the Corn Ferry Tour are proud to bring you this look at the future stars in the sport of golf. 
We're a couple of blocks off of fabled Sunset Boulevard at Riviera Country Club for third round coverage of the California Classic. Well, if yesterday was any indication, we should be in for a memorable weekend of golf here as we take in the leaderboard on this Saturday. Some good names up there, including our leader. Time to head out to the course as we pick things up on the tee at the par 4 12th. Well, we've lost a couple of shots, which is a, a, a shame. 32nd place. Bit of fade to avoid that tree. That looks okay. No issues here. That is into the fairway. it in high just accounting for the wind a little bit more mm, that still looks a little far it's okay it's on the fringe well fair way so hot should be able to put it from here though we would be able to but not allowing it. Right. That's okay. Should be a fairly straightforward putt. And there it is. No so par. It is a par here at twelve, and he'll stay at one over. Next, it's on to the 13th at 459 yards, where the 12th bent left to right. Number 13 goes the other way, trying to make you utilize all the shots in your arsenal. That's the mark of a really good design. This one again featuring a narrow landing zone leading up to a smallish heart-shaped green. Okay, here we go again. Just got to probably draw this round a little bit. Avoid those trees. And we should find ourselves with a beautiful second shot here, and that looks good. And our approach game's getting better. Frank playing downhill. You always want to take less club. Go ahead and hit the ball a little harder. Trying to. Get it close. This looks good. This looks very good. That's a birdie putt within 10 feet. That's a good shot. And more importantly, too, a green in regulation, so birdie chance. This from about 10 feet. It's there. Come on. Come mm, on. That's what we like to see. Back to evens. And he's got it back to even par. And now just seven off the lead. I'll head now to the 14th, the par three at 192 yards. This green's on a slight incline and given the ocean air, probably plays a little longer than you think. The narrow green is flanked by two bunkers left and another to the right. This is tough. Look at where the, the, the pin placement is. It's a little downhill as well. Yeah, I'm gonna have to just give it a little loft as well. Now we've underswung that. That's gonna be bunker bound. Yeah. Nope. That's gonna be into that U-shaped bunker, short and right. It's exactly what we wanted to avoid, but. Never mind. Well, that's a, a very, very good recovery. 
Mm, that is a good-looking pass out of the bunker right there. Got that to stop in a good place, leaving just a few feet for par. Yeah, that's well a little bit firmer done. on the putt. Save his par, and he'll stay at level par. We're giving ourselves every chance here. The 15th hole here at Riviera at 487 yards of par four. It is the number two handicap hole, so that can speak to its difficulty. The one well-placed bunker at the elbow of the dog leg must be avoided, and the green is believed by many to be the toughest to read on the course. Well, here we go then. Last hole that we're going to be involved in. Until the AI takes over again. That will do just fine. It's a very good first shot, though, isn't it? Wind coming from his right as he gets set for his second. He should be okay here, just accounting for the wind. A little bit of loft. Not bad. It's Could a solid shot probably and a green in regulation, a little more a little for the wind there. From the band. We turn to Nota Begay the third for this look at birdie. And these are the putts he hasn't been able to do much with all day. This doesn't have a whole lot of movement to it, and he could surely use it. Yeah, we knew that. I mean... Yeah, I've just been trying to use the commentators a little bit because they, they said there's not a lot There's of read in this. Left. I should have just stayed with me instinct. But there you yeah, go, par part. again. Mm, mm, and we lost a, a shot towards the end. What a shame. Right where he is. That our AI has uh, lost us a few shots there. Probably takes us out of contention for Frank, any sort of victory. but to be moving day for our featured golfer, but instead... They were moving in the wrong direction <laughs> and over a par round. Yeah, yeah, I actually just took the words right out of my mouth. Yeah, they, they went they went in reverse uh, way too quick. Uh, you know, only one person wins every week. We know that. So there's going to be people that play average, people that play bad. Um, I think there's just a week maybe to forget. So All right. Just about do it. For At least we've made the cut. Um, hopefully we can have a positive final round, but uh, up to level 20, another two skill points in the bag, which is nice. Um, we we probably will never use those mid tournament, but um, yeah, let's get the uh, the tiger red out for the final round here. EA Sports and the Corn Ferry Tour bring you the best young talent in the world of golf. From Pacific Palisades, just west of Los Angeles, Riviera Country Club, the site for this, the final round of the California Classic. What a week and weekend this has been so far. Everything you want in a golf tournament. By nightfall, we will have our winner as you take a look at the current leaderboard on this Sunday afternoon. A number of folks in contention, including our leader, Let's get right into the action, starting with the par 3, 14th. Okay, so gained a shot, but uh, we've only got four holes here to really make an impact, and that's going to be tough to do. But uh, we'll give it our all. No, no, that's left. That's very left. Into the bunker we go. Oh, into one of the two bunkers left of this 14th green. And an awkward little bunker shot. Just splash it out. Let the ball run towards the flag. This is... Got a bit of height to it. Yeah. Hmm. Third shot coming up now from the bunker. That's what we were trying to do the first time. It's going to be okay, bulky. Not a bad recovery from out of the sand and a chance, maybe, to limit the damage to one drop shot. Ah, 
Good stuff. So it is for a bogey four. And he's going to fall back. Looks like now. it's been a, a, an up and down five. round anyway. Next up, the par four 15th at 487 yards. It's another one that favors someone who can move the ball left to right off the tee. If you've got enough to work it over that fairway bunker right, it should leave you with an open look to a fairly accessible green. This one starting up that left side. I think that was unlucky, you know. I mean, we tried to fade that. After that and bogey at the last and finding the anyway. rough hit, it's going to be uh, time to like have a little tap on the uh, cranium and get things in the right place. I need to strike this well. Obviously into a headwind. But this looks pretty good. Yeah, that'll do. Well, that's how you play the game right there. Knock it on the green and give yourself a good look at birdie. Let's bring in Nota Begay the third for a look at birdie. And definitely not a lot to be concerned with. He Get in. Get in. Back Come on. We make that shot straight oh, back. We got yes. three he more holes. There. Let's go and make birdie. three Here more birdies. 15. Let's have a good end of the round. It Come on. Help the cause. On now to the 16th at 166 yards. It's the smallest green on the course, but the difficulties don't end there. It's also surrounded by three deep and large bunkers. Plus, that tree left of the tee box can get you if you're not careful. This is probably still dropper club. Let's feel the wind. Come on. Oh, what a shame. That was be close to that, being good. No doubt. Your swing didn't quite look right on that one. All right. Hang on a minute. This isn't where we uh, landed. I think they've given us somebody else's ball here. That's just okay, I I'd say, but he's left himself at least a chance at a par, Frank. Come on, Rich. Uh, I mean, you you're being too kind there. That's not ideal. Yeah, good putt, oh, though. Good recovery. Line all the way. It is a par here at 16. And he'll stay right where he is. We make our final turn back up toward the clubhouse as we come to the 590-yard par 517. Getting on here into is no sure thing, especially given all the bunkers that pop up along the way. Trying to give it everything. Well, you can't walk out and drop it any better than that. That is a fine tee shot right there. So, in the fairway, but a pretty good number to carry here for a second to the par five. And yeah, we're going to give it, give it a go. Come on. Bounce. Ah. Never mind. Oh, so close to being good, that second shot. But now, a tricky bunker shot. Oh, it's blasted in there. Stupid, 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 well, that stupid. that didn't work out. It didn't look bad in the air. It hit the green, but didn't sit. Yeah, it was never going to stop. Right, let's get this right on top of the hole. Ten foot putt left. No. Well, what a shame. Oh, you hate to miss from that distance. Let's just not talk about this hole, shall we? Uh, much Never mind. There, that's in. We're a double bogey. And that's going to move him back to two over par. Such a unique 
closing hole, the 18th here at Riviera at 475 yards. You're asked to hit your tee shot onto a 30-foot rise. It features hillside to the left and gully to the right. From there, it is a tough approach into the amphitheater green. Right, using the wind here. Bit of left to right. Should hopefully stay on the fairway. Does do exactly that. And that is dead. Very Center nice. Right down the middle here to start the hole. From the fairway. Let's go to Noda. Tough not to get distracted with the majestic amphitheater setting here at the 18th at Riviera, but be mindful. You must land the ball left of the hole to get it close. Nope. Well, we can try and end well, this weekend off with a, a nice like, but when you find greens in regulation on a regular basis, birdie. you're going to have a chance. Well, it's close. I think it's just a little short. Yeah, easy to come up short on that one, but that's a decent effort. So here we go then. Par to finish off. The weekend. So it's happened there. That's for part the last. And this will be a 72 for this final round. Not bad. You know, we made the cut. Looks like we're going to be top 30, which is Frank an improvement. Great show today. You know, they certainly did. Course played well. You got what you deserved out there. Some outstanding performances. And for our entire team, I'm Rich Lerner saying so long for now. Okay then, right. Uh, well, we made the cut and finished top 30. That's definitely a positive performance. Um, let's have a little look at the the rankings. So we are tied 63 at the moment. I think it was, what, top 75 got to play at the final. So, um, you know, I think we do need to do a little bit better. Um and hopefully we will. You know, that was a, a decent uh, performance. It says it says we've won one and had two top tens. That's not true. If it was true, then we'd be a lot higher, wouldn't we? <laughs> but yeah, um, yeah, fingers crossed we can uh, improve ourselves as we go forward, get ourselves into the, the Corn Ferry Finals and, you know, maybe even pick up a, a, a nice victory along the way. We've got the Florida Open coming up at the Players' Stadium course at TPC Sawgrass next time out. Uh, before we finish off, let's have a little look at our skills. We have got a couple of skill points, so we might as well go in there and uh, grab ourselves that upgrade. I don't actually know how we... How do we assign those there? Ah, do we switch these out? Man it no. Full swing. How do we get that to upgrade approach control three? So we need that is that right whoops am i right now yes yeah, so we do have a, a finesse okay so yeah now we need approach control seven um which is that one there okay and that will upgrade us to a silver and then there's the gold there okay that's all fine then and that'll give us that finesse shot. So, so I think I'm starting to understand it a little bit more. Um, obviously a little bit more complicated than what we've been used to in the past with PGA Tour games. But uh, enjoyed that nonetheless. We made the cut and I think in general played a hell of a lot better. We still need to uh, improve our approach play. But now hopefully we've got uh, that finesse shot in there. That's going to help us out. But uh, fingers crossed you enjoyed that as well. If you did, give it a big thumbs up down below. Subscribe for plenty more PGA Tour content. And I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Thanks for watching and goodbye.